In the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 24, it says, However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. God is doing amazing work in Congo, and we are so blessed to continue the update and share it with all of you. The Congo Partnership has established a dream to drill a new well, fresh water well, every year. There has been so much excitement about this dream in the villages of the Sankuru province, especially Wemboyama, as this village will be the site of the next drilling. I spent 10 days traveling with a water specialist from UMCOR, United Methodist Committee on Relief, and a government official to assess the fresh water possibilities throughout the Sankura province. Sites for the next three wells have been selected. With no access to clean water, diseases including deaths from river water contribute to the second largest mortality in all of Congo. Therefore, the residents speak of their interest and expectation frequently. In fact, this is a text message we received from a resident of Wemboyama. Hi, Mama Kaneyimba. That's my new Congolese name. I'd just like to tell you that I'm now on the hospital bed. My disease is due to the drinking of dirty water, not fresh water, for a long time. People are suffering a lot in Wemboyama about water. Fresh water from this project is eagerly awaited by people. As stated in the lyrics from Brandon Heath's song, Follow You, Faith without works is dead, and on the cross your blood was shed. So how can I not give it away so freely? While Jesus suffered for all of us, and now so many suffer as well, how can we not respond? Six wonderful volunteers from New Covenant United Methodist Church in the Villages, Florida, responded as they traveled to Congo to experience the culture and develop relationships with the Congolese and saw the extreme needs of the people there. They left the country with a passion to give it away. The congregation of New Covenant was challenged during the season of Lent to drink only water as a means of fasting, although they could eat whatever they desired. People were asked to donate the money they would have spent on coke and coffee and iced tea toward the project of drilling a fresh water well in Congo. The goal to raise $30,000 seemed high but doable. But on Easter Sunday, the pastors joyfully announced that the goal had been exceeded and the actual donation was $75,000 split between the partnership and Water 4, all going to the Congo to provide fresh water. Praise God! So the village of Wemboyama will witness the commencement of the well drilling very soon. Another dream of a partnership due to the large patient volume at the Impasa Medical and Nutrition Center was to construct a new building to provide care for the pediatric population. Being a very large project, the partnership pondered whether this indeed could occur. Then God called the Southeast District of the Eastern Pennsylvania Conference under the passionate leadership of District Superintendent Don Taylor Storm to take it on as a mission and within a short period raise the entire amount to number one, construct the new building, and number two, furnish the building including medical equipment such as an incubator, ultrasound, and surgical light for the operating room. They are currently in the third phase with the goal to install solar power and purchase two solar refrigerators so Impasa can have a blood bank, store vaccinations, laboratory reagents, and other supplies. Wow! This has been astonishing and such a huge blessing to so many. And the blessings and virtual miracles continue. In fact, on the very day when a political demonstration took place in Kinshasa in response to the president's refusal to hold the next general election in November as scheduled, the groundbreaking occurred. And God provided this gift to the people so that the stress and disappointment of the people was replaced with hope. The future of improved medical care for children in Mpasa is in motion. We are so amazed at how God is working in some Congolese churches, they use a familiar chant that U.S. churches sometimes use. They say, God is good, and some respond, All the time. Followed by, all the time, God is good. But then they all say together, That, that is, is God's, God's nature. nature. Wow. wow. Well, amen and amen. 
Thank you for being God's hands and heart in Congo, helping make these and many other dreams become realities through your prayers, encouragement, and financial support. You continue to be vessels through whom God's love flows into the world.